In the following tutorial we're going to look at DAT analysis and specifically acoustic sound quality metrics. To begin I'm just going to load the DAT analysis software. And when the software loads it pops up a dialog to remind us that we're using the standard analysis interface and in this particular situation the standard analysis interface does not give us exactly what we need and we need to use the advanced interface so by selecting tools options analysis I can select between the standard interface and the advanced interface and I'm going to select the advanced interface and we then click on the OK button a message box comes up to tell us that that needs to restart in order for those changes to take effect and would we like to do so now and the answer is yes so the DATS software will now restart with the advanced interface and again a little dialogue will pop up just to let us know that we are now using the advanced interface and what we're going to do in this particular test is to analyze an acoustic signal and find sound quality metrics from that acoustic signal and I'm going to use some example data which is available on the DATS kit from C drive DATS W70 examples data rotating machinery race car run up dot DAC and specifically there's one signal which I'm going to load which is noise left and I'm going to do that just by clicking and holding on noise left and dragging that into our work area and you can see that just that one signal has been loaded as there's one of one in the source DPU I now need to convert to the frequency domain and I'm going to select a frequency analysis from the advanced analysis list and the analysis I'm going to select is called auto RMS spectrum and I'm just going to drag and drop that into my worksheet connect up the lines and I'm also going to add a view DPU so we can see our results and simply click on the worksheet run button and we now have, if I double click on the view DPU our spectra of our acoustic noise signal and I'm now going to calculate some sound quality metrics and I'll do that specifically using the noise vibration and harshness add-ons I select the spectrum input and I select the option sound quality And again, I'll connect to View DPU. And if I just double click on the sound quality analysis, we can enter the number of cylinders in our particular engine at the time. And it's very useful at this stage to have a look at the help associated with this function. This tells us the sound quality of our data, but if we scroll down to the bottom of the help, you'll see all of the different metrics which are available and their associated named elements and the named elements is the name that the metric will be given inside our DATS file so if for example we were to find the speech articulation index we would need to look up a named element called dollar AI underscore ANSI for example so just click OK to dismiss that dialog we just rerun the worksheet and we now see that we have our frequency spectra but if we click on the view named elements button, the, the signal information button we can see if we click on the named element tab various named elements which are available and specifically the ones of interest loud GD phones, loud GD zones sharpness 
and up at the top of the list will be our, be our articulation index ANSI. So for this particular data, the articulation index is 0 0.4632. And if we wanted to display that on the graph, we simply have to go labels, legend, type a description for our column heading, choose the named element which we're interested in from the drop down list, click OK, and we now have a graph that shows us, in this particular case, the articulation index. In some situations, when working with data associated with noise, vibration and harshness testing, we often would like to find the or a particular sound quality metric based on a waterfall, so there will be an array of values and a tutorial on how to do this is available separately. And this concludes our tutorial on sound quality metrics using dance analysis.